And so the long wait is over. Millions of viewers are tuning in worldwide as the anticipation builds ahead of the Conmebol Libertadores final. This is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position, as always, is Stuart Robson. We're just minutes away from kickoff time now. It's Palmeiras, and they take on Atletico Paranaense. Well, I can't wait for this, Derek. Two top class teams, a magnificent atmosphere, and everything to play for. Let's hope we get the game we're expecting. we can check on the lineup today well in this shape if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball it's a very attacking lineup but if they drop too deep they will then leave the center forward isolated and it could be difficult for them what they'll be facing today well it's a flat 4-5-1 which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack however that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker And the contest begins. <laughs> Running with the ball confidently. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. looks promising plenty of players waiting in the middle opportunity oh it's off the post and keeper's ball in the end well look at the relief out there that looked a certain goal didn't it Losing possession a bit easily. Well, no stopping him. A very timely interception. And space here on the flank. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And a touch off the defender, last of all. So a corner. Well, they fancy a short one. And a tidy tackle. And they need to get tighter here. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. challenge a 
He continues his run. How about the cross? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. And the keeper taking care of the situation. And he read it well, intercepting it. Cutting the ball back. Now they've lost it. Slipshod passing. And closed down straight away. A super ball over the top. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Oh, breezing past him. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Promising-looking ball. Moving forward effectively. And a useful cross. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Not the best challenge. Free kick. play says the referee Just one minute of time added on for stoppages. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Very good refereeing to let the play flow. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. 
Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. Now a decent position. Oh, in with a chance. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. And deciding to go short with this one. Determined defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. They do pass the ball with authority, and the cross not quite accurate enough. Good bit of pressing. Oh, managing to beat him. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, not the best effort we've ever seen, Stuart. Well, I think it's fair to say he won't be taking the next one. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And the cross into the middle. And he needed a bit more downward direction on the header. Really getting stuck in. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Strong but fair tackle. On and on he goes. But quick thinking defensively. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Now doesn't get away with it. Free kick given.
the sitting ever deeper. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Can they grab the lead late on? A glorious chance. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Can he put them in front? And the keeper will happily collect that one. And we've entered the final five minutes. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Lovely work to get past his man. Opportunity for victory, perhaps. Can they put it away? And you've got to say, not the best of volleys that time. Yeah, it was certainly there to hit, but he just couldn't make the right contact. It was well wide in the end. And he'll go back and hand out a yellow card here. Yeah, he was always going to go back for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Able to get a body in the way. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. And he's broken free. And there it is. The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Playing with purpose and control.
Could be dangerous. An important interception. Oh, maybe the equaliser. What a save. It's a short corner. And making the run to the inside. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. First period of extra time completed. 15 minutes left and then it's a penalty shootout. And away they go again. Second period of extra time has commenced. Can they create something from here? Real chance. Well, as you can see, he just couldn't get enough on it. He'll be frustrated with that one. Well, a second goal for them here. away by the keeper time is fast running out five minutes left in the second period of extra time here could be troublesome well he had the confidence to try his luck and denied only by the post. Well, the keeper was beaten. He hit it so cleanly, it's just the wrong side of the post. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And the new kings of the Copa Libertadores have been crowned. As we salute the winners, we must at the same time commiserate with the losers.
an emotional occasion. The bottom line is they've done it. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. Contrasting emotions down there, but this is all about the winners. Just look at the jubilation. Joy, relief, excitement, call it what you want. They've been brilliant today, and they deserve this moment. And they put so much work into this campaign. It has paid off. And now for the walk every player in South America wants to make. Awaiting them, that piece of sterling silver, and their name will shortly be on the pedestal. Well, as they make their way up to get this cup, they look tired, but you wait. In a couple of moments, they'll be jumping for joy. Suddenly, that energy will come back. What a moment for these players. The Copa Libertadores winners, Palmeiras. Well, it's been a great effort. Everybody has played their part and fully deserved this. They've been outstanding in what is a tough competition. Great stuff. One more trophy left, why not? Yes. And there is absolutely nothing like drinking it all in with your own fans. Well, what is great to see, Derek, the players and the fans have a great bond, don't they? And it's brilliant for these supporters. They were so vocal today. They certainly played their part. Magnificent scenes. These celebrations will run long into the night. And now for the pictures that they'll be looking at for the rest of their lives. Yeah, these will be shown to the grandkids for years to come. Fantastic stuff, isn't it? The Libertadores victors.